What's up everyone, I'm Brian Petty from Power Auto Media. Today, I'm going to be going through a list of eight different cars that were really, really expensive when they were brand new from the factory off the showroom floor, but in today's standards, they're actually pretty affordable and most of you can probably buy one. I'm gonna start off with number one, a really great car, a 2008 BMW M3 or E92 for some gearheads that know what those designations mean. We found one on Craigslist for $19,000 less than 20 grand. The original MSRP of this car was $60,000, so $40,000 less than they were brand new, and they're not that old. With a 414 horsepower V8 revving to 8,400 RPMs, on the list of eight that I have, that's the highest revving engine, and it's a V8, naturally aspirated, no turbo, no supercharger, it is pretty fantastic. With a top speed limited to 155 miles per hour, and the car weighs in at 3,700 pounds, which makes it a lightweight when it comes to luxury and sport. And it gets 17 miles per gallon combined highway and in town. All right, number two on the list is a 2006 Maserati Quattroporte. And out of this entire list of cars, it was originally the most expensive car by a long shot. How about $103,000 for the base model? That blew my mind when I saw that, especially when I saw what Kelly Blue Book rates these cars at. Blue Book value on this, $6,600 to $9,400. Not thousand, hundred. Depreciation value has a new meaning and it should just be in the dictionary that says, depreciation, Maserati Quattroporte 2006, year and model. <laughs> it came equipped with a 400 horsepower V8 engine, naturally aspirated, and out of all of these cars, I think it gets the worst miles per gallon as far as gas mileage. A combined of 13, that's not super great. But you can buy a used one for 10 to 12 grand. We found one for 12 grand on Craigslist. Seems like a deal. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. And it weighs in at a whopping 4,400 pounds, which is a little bit of heavyweight. And number three is a 2007 Mercedes S 550 and Mercedes they're known for being pretty sweet rides this one I like a lot because for one it gets 20 miles a gallon combined mileage and that's probably the highest of all of these cars it has a 382 horsepower 5.5 liter v8 engine the original MSRP though is pretty high $86,000 for a lower model and on blue book paper 16 to 19 grand is what they book for, so pretty good depreciation value. We found one used for 17 grand on Craigslist, and that seems pretty pretty good as considering all the things that you get with this car. 20 miles per gallon, 382 horsepower, and the fact that these cars are almost silent. I bet the exhaust is quieter than my phone vibrating on the table. It's they're super quiet, even wide open throttle. They're they're not that loud, which can be a good or bad thing. You be the you be the judges. And number four on the list is a 2006 Range Rover. And these things have completely bottomed out. With an original price tag between 70 and $90,000, now they're only valued at like two to four grand, which is nothing. I mean, wow. And the, the, the change in price can be because of a 4.4 liter naturally aspirated V8 or their supercharged V8, which makes quite a bit more power. But no matter what, these things are just about worthless. It, it's, it's pretty sad. But one cool thing is it uses the same automatic transmission from the Aston Martin DB9. So you could say you have 4% of an Aston Martin DB9 for a couple grand. Number five on the list is a Cadillac CTSV, the first version, generation one. And it came with a 5.7 liter V8 that made 400 horsepower, not too shabby. And it weighed in around 3,800 pounds. So it's, it's pretty light uh, compared with the rest of these cars. But I'm a little biased on this because I own a Cadillac CTSV. It's a little bit newer, but they're fantastic cars. And as far as depreciation value goes, the original MSRP of the 2004 Cadillac CTSV was around 50 grand, and they still go for about 10 to $15,000. Blue Book is a little bit lower. They're a little, they range right around $10,000 as far as book value, but they're great cars. Four doors, rear wheel drive, they only came in a six-speed manual transmission. 
which is freaking cool. I mean, I love that. I love the fact that they did, they're you just, no, no automatic. Why would we put an automatic behind this awesome car? If somebody wants an automatic, they can go buy something else. Exactly. All right, coming down to number six. It is a 2008 Audi S5. It was originally equipped with a 4.2 liter V8 that made 350, 355 horsepower. It's not shabby, especially considering the car only weighs 4,000 pounds. It got 19 miles per gallon, whether you got it in an automatic or a manual transmission. And I don't have to emphasize manual transmissions. Just get the manual. So 19 miles per gallon combined is awesome. And the original MSRP was 52 grand. So it wasn't up there with the Maserati or these Mercedes or the Range Rover even, but it has depreciated a little bit. Kelly Blue Book puts it between 10 and $13,000, and we found one for 16 grand, which, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good deal for all the stuff that you get with this car. And it has a top speed of 155, which they, all these things have a top speed of 155 because they're limited, but what do you do? Go and have it tuned and have a top speed of 100 million miles per hour. Number seven on the list is a heavy, heavy hitter, a 2007 E63 AMG Mercedes. It's a Merc, guys. And the original MSRP on this car was $83,000, and for good reason. It had a 6.2 liter V8 that made, oh, 507 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. That's, that's a bunch. There's a reason that it costs that much. But the thing that's even more bonkers is the fact that we found one for 12 grand, and Kelly Blue Book only values them between 10 and $13,000. What? What's going on there? Okay, yeah, all right. And number eight on the list is a 2006 Porsche Cayenne. We found one on Craigslist for 6,700 bucks. Now, it wasn't actually the base model. It had a V8, 340 horsepower, and the base models on these came with a whopping 250 horsepower V6. So not that great, but the one that we found, V8, right? We're in business. Top speed of 155 miles per hour for the V8 models, and the V6 models, we don't care about. Got a combined miles per gallon of 16, and that's pretty impressive for an SUV of its size. And also, the base model to turbo model, the original price spans huge. The base model was around $43,000, and if you wanted the Turbo S that made 520 horsepower from the factory, you're spending 70, 80 plus thousand dollars on that car. But all in all, you can get them pretty cheap used now. And that wraps it up for our list of eight cars that were really, really expensive when they were new, but they're actually pretty affordable now. If you liked this video, you liked the content, you like what we're talking about, subscribe, follow, like, and we'll be bringing more videos to you very soon.